Yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's Egal Talks Football. We're back again with another video. And this video is off the cuff because there is some big news going around with Arsenal transfer news. And I haven't been able to do an Arsenal transfer news video yet. We're going to be talking about Alexander Izak to Arsenal. Yes, Newcastle are worried that Alexander Izak could be one of the players that they might have to sell this upcoming window in order to reach financial fair play worries. And also there's some other things, but we're going to get into that. Plus there's more news around Arsenal, injuries with Man City players. Is it mind games? Is it not? And you know, there's just a bunch of things that we need to talk about. So I thought no better way to speak to you guys than just do this quick little upload and get this out to you guys so you guys can give me your thoughts on everything Arsenal. Now, before we go any further, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out our channel sponsor for today, which is SofaScore, the best football app out there in the world right now. And yeah, I think it's time we get started. Do me a favor, guys. Also, let me know. Do you guys honestly think there's a chance that we could beat Man City yet yet? Because I'm starting to get nervous. Yes, 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 people. What's going on? It's Egal Talks Football. So just to let you guys know, it is the international break, and there is some news around injuries and stuff like that. Odegaard apparently might not play. He might play. We don't know. We're going to see if he does end up playing. Him and Holland are playing for Norway, of course. You also have the situation where Bakayo Saka has already pulled out. Declan Rice is going to play today where he's going to captain England for his 50th cap. I don't know if he's going to be playing the full game. It doesn't make sense why he would play the full game. And other than that, Arsenal seem to be getting a lot of their players back fit and available for uh, for the uh, for the big title running in the last couple of games. But before we go any further, there is something that John Stone said, and it just rubs me the wrong way. People are really trying to make a clowning of it, but it's like he said something, and it just really kind of triggered me. So I'm just going to show you guys what he said, and and why it it sort of triggered me. Uh, just, just before we go into all the Arsenal transfer news and everything else. So John Stones was asked, uh, Declan Rice went up to John Stones last week and, and Declan Rice said this. Let me show you guys. Let me put it up on the screen so you guys can see it before we get into all the other news. So yeah, he said, last week I saw John Stones and he didn't even know we were playing next week. Is is a big game next week. John said, who are we playing? I said, we got uh, you lot. John said, oh yeah? He's like, Take, get, he likes to take uh, one game at a time, and I get that. Interesting, interesting. I like that approach too, but still, it's like kind of disrespectful. Like he's not looking ahead to one of the biggest games in this in in the in the league campaign. He doesn't take Arsenal serious. Like I get the mentality, but it's kind of it's, to me, it seems like he he thinks we're gonna be an easy easy cakewalk for him. I don't like that. I don't like that. Also, just to just to let you guys know, today is the manager's birthday, Mikel Arteta's birthday. Big up Mikel Arteta, super Mick Arteta. He knows exactly what we need. That's my guy. It's his birthday. And you know what the funny thing is? Guys who used to hate on Mikel Arteta, guys who used to absolutely hate on Mikel Arteta and say, this guy's a fraud, this guy's that, this guy's this, like Lee Gunnar, are now going out there saying we should, building, we should build him a statue. <laughs> can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? Can you believe it? Guys like Lee Gunner, who were who were who used to make fun of him on a regular basis, were on Troops' channel saying if he wins us the Champions League, we should build him a statue. Let me just show you. You probably won't even believe your eyes. We're now going up against Real Madrid, Man City, Bayern Munich. Yeah, like it's not easy. And then we get to the final and we've got what PSG, Barca, Atleti, or Dortmund. <laughs> like if he does it. If he wins that Champions League, give him a statue. <laughs> now he wants to say that. Now he wants to say build him a statue and stuff. It's funny. Lee Gunner, bro, you're hilarious. Now you want to friggin' jump on the Arsenal bandwagon when we're doing good. And, and the whole time you just want to say, sack the man, sack the man, sack the man. If we had it your way, he would have been sacked. And these City fans are literally... These city fans are think they're gonna come. Uh, they're gonna come to. Uh, they're gonna. We're gonna come to at the end, and they're just gonna kill us. That's not happening. That's not happening. By the way, we did do a top ten tier list video. If you guys want to go check that out, 
And I'm just going through some of these things. As you can see there, Mikel Arteta celebrating. It is his birthday. Big up, Mikel Arteta. Happy birthday to Mikel Arteta. Arsenal will be having none other than Anthony Taylor as the as the guy in the in, in, refereeing the big game against City on the weekend. Also, we, I did my Premier League team of the uh, Premier League team. Uh, Premier League all-time team of the season. If you guys want to check this out, this is my Premier League all-time team of the season. Check Kyle Walker, Rio, Terry, Cole, Vieira, and everything else. But you guys are not here for this. Let me get to the Arsenal news. Let me get to the Arsenal news. First news of the day is Cancelo is linked to Arsenal. Reportedly, Arsenal are still interested in Cancelo. Uh, he's currently at Barcelona. And in my opinion, I just want to know what you guys think. Some I've asked some of the people. A lot of people are talking about his attitude to me, if Mikel Arteta thinks he can bring him in and he can fix his attitude, I, I question that. But, hey, he has brought in other players before that I questioned and made it work. So let's see. Personally, for me, I'm against the potential signing of Cancelo. And I don't know if his contract is up at City or if City would sell him to us. But we need to see what happens there. Next, we're also linked to Morgan Gibbs-White. Yes, Gibbs-White. Uh, uh, more. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Morgan Gibbs, right, is linked to uh, Arsenal. Personally, to me, I don't know where he's going to play. I asked a Nottingham Forest fan in, in the, uh, that I know what he thinks, and this is what he responded with. He said, got got to be over uh, 50 million and dependent if you guys can play him in the 10 role. So to me, I just look at that and I say to myself, are you serious? I don't know if uh, Gibbs White is a good enough player to play for Arsenal in the number 10. He, if he may be played on the wing as a backup, but I don't see why we would sign him, in my opinion. he's kind. Of, I just think it wouldn't make sense, in my opinion, to go and sign Morgan Gibbs White at this moment in time. But Arsenal do have a shining light that's come through the academy who's absolutely balling this season, and that's uh, Mickey Birith. Uh, Birith is wanted by many clubs as a permanent signing, but Arsenal might might let him leave. And his sing his signature will be wanted by a lot of teams in the summer. He's absolutely killing it this season. And I think Birith is going to be doing amazing things in the future for somebody if he's not at Arsenal. If he is at Arsenal, he's most likely going to be in a similar role to Eddie Nketiah, where he's just a backup. And maybe it's time for him to move on. Then we have Declan Rice is, is going to be captaining the England side today. I already spoke about that. As you can see here, Declan Rice is the England captain today. His first time captaining the England side. We got, as far as I'm aware, first professional deal will be uh, will be confirmed soon for Ethan Nawari. We were scared that we we're going to lose him to Man City. So that is another thing. We're also linked to the likes of Nico, Nico Williams. We're going to have to see what happens with him. Pep Guardiola, back in January of 2023, talking about, I remember when he was here, oh, talking about Mikel Arteta versus Man City. Kai Havertz is on a crazy goal streak, guys. We we can't we can't say how many goals Kai Havertz is on. Declan Rice today in training, doing uh, not Declan Rice, Ben White in training, training photos, as you can see. We've already spoken about that. Oh, Arsenal are linked to uh, Diamond from Sporting. I don't know how likely that is. We're going to have to wait and see how likely that is and if that can happen. Mikel Arteta turns 42 today. That is some of the other stuff. Saliba will start today versus Chile. That is another thing. But, of course, you guys are not here for none of this stuff. You guys are here to speak about Isaac to Arsenal, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go pull that up right now as I have spent too much of your time already. So let's get straight into the Isaac news. Let's get straight into the Isaac news. So why Isaac? What do you guys think? Would Isaac be the perfect striker for Arsenal? Do you guys think he's the kind of guy that we need? Do you guys think Isaac would be the guy that would push us over the edge and potentially make this team? exactly what we're looking for would you take Isaac at Arsenal yes or no let me know right now in the comments section that's what I need to ask you guys and I'm not even going to get into some of the other stuff but we're going to go straight into the Alexander Isaac stuff now okay I think I've taken up too much of your time all I gotta say is Alexander Isaac there's a situation right now with Newcastle where Alexander Isaac is being viewed as a potential sale, potentially. The club is not 100% putting him up on sale at this moment in time, but there could be the possibility where Alexander Isaac could be sold. 
Alexander Isaac is an elite forward that we have been interested in for a couple of years now. This is a man who has been injured for times this season, and he still currently has 12 goals in the league. Arsenal have made uh, Newcastle striker Alexander Isaac the number one target in the summer, is rumored by some by some journalists. That is from Dean Jones uh, of the Football Insider. Dean Jones was the first one to report it. Arsenal are especially uh, Arsenal and Mikel Arteta are especially big admirers of Alexander Isaac since we have been trying to sign him previously in the past. Isaac is currently under contract until 2028, which means we would have to make a big uh, a big pull to try to get him away from Newcastle in the summer. Now I don't know if Arsenal are 100% going to be able to pull this off, but right now we are going to try our best to try to pull it off. We are going to try our best to try to pull it off. Alexander Isaac, uh, uh, I don't know if he, he wants to leave, but there is a real chance Arsenal would take advantage of the situation that currently is going on at Newcastle and take the forward man from, from that club. It is valid and generally Newcastle, uh, which, is a, uh, which, which is a place where they're not looking to sell players right now, Football Insider reports that Newcastle might consider selling him. I personally would take Alexander Isaac at Arsenal in a heartbeat. Newcastle might sell him in the summer. This was reported three days ago. Their financial fair play regulations and long-term uh, are, are the main reasons. The Football Insider also say that Arsenal are long-term admirers and he would be one of the number one options for us if we try, if we try to pull it off. He would be one of our number one targets. This is a big, big possibility, ladies and gentlemen, for it to happen. I don't know if it's 100% going to happen, but if it does happen, I'll take him in a heartbeat. Imagine if Arsenal make Gabriel Jesus, uh, Gabriel Jesus goes and Isaac. What? Imagine having all those options. Isaac, Gabriel Jesus, Kai Havertz, Trossard, Martinelli, Saka. Like we just have so many good forward options across the whole line. So many players can play in so many different positions. We'll be stacked. We'll be stacked. And this is a man who's in 42 appearances for Newcastle has scored 22 goals. He's absolutely killing it. We are serious suitors to sign him. Newcastle want around 80 million pounds. That's what they want. That's what Newcastle want. Newcastle want around 80 million pounds. That's what I'm hearing. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what, what I'm hearing. This is this is the this is the report right here. Uh, uh, Give me sport have uh, have reported that Arsenal are the most likely suitors to sign Alexander Isaac in the summer. Newcastle likely want around 80 million, and extensive interest from Isaac is expected. 22 goals in 42 Premier League appearances. To say he's clinical is an understatement. To say he's clinical is an understatement, ladies and gentlemen. Alexander Isaac to Arsenal is on. And Newcastle, they might need to start looking to sell players. And if they do, Arsenal should be at the top of that list. I will take Alexander Izak in a heartbeat. But yeah, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And don't forget W's in the chat if you guys enjoyed this video. W's in the chat. Or W's in the comment section, as I should say. But yeah, that's it for today. Before before I go, I just want to say I will be doing a live tomorrow, a panel show with the Ars uh, with the Arsenal boys, and I will also do a, thir a Thursday. I'll be doing a video also with um, Nubbins, where we're talking about the, the the Man City Arsenal preview, and then Friday vibes from the six. Saturday I got another preview just before the game, and then Sunday is the big game where I'll be doing the match reaction. And then, of course, Bob from the 6 at 11 p.m. this weekend. So check us out, and you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Don't forget, love for the love, people, and I'm out of here. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.